Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Things are going south as Martha Kome is coming out to deliver a bad news to William Ruto. Do you remember William Ruto met Martha Kome in status? Immediately that day, Martha Kome and William Ruto met in State House. <laughs> the courts came out blowing a huge blow to William Samoy Ruto and his programs and plans. One, the Martha Kome's court came out stopping the collection of house levy. Number two, the same time, the court of Martha Kome came out stopping the deployment of the Kenyan police to the Haiti peacekeeping mission. Last night, Martha Kome had a certain meeting with stakeholders across the world, and they met in Nairobi in a certain hotel in Nairobi. And Martha Kome came out giving William Ruto <laughs> a huge blow as she said that meeting William Ruto in State House does not mean that now the decisions as per the Constitution is going to be altered with. I want you to watch how Martha Kome is coming out to throw a huge blow to William Samueluto. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this video and you've not liked this video, please do me a favor, ensure you like this video, you comment, you share this video. When you do so, you automatically support the work of this channel. And of course, you're going to be recommended in a YouTube platform. So consider liking, commenting and sharing this video and if you are visiting this channel for the first time please again do me a favor ensure you subscribe to this channel that is something that is automatic you support the work of this channel let us listen to whatever <laughs> Martha Kome is coming out to tell William Somerut Tazamaji jaji mkuu Martha Komi sasa nadai kwamba idara ya mahakama kama haitapoteza uhuru wake licha ya kuandaa mazungumzo na serikali kuu wiki chache zilizopita. Kome anawataka majaji kufanya kazi yao wakizingatia misingi ya kikatiba na kwamba tume ya huduma kwa mahakama yani JC haitaruhusu mazungumzo yoyote ya kitengo chochote cha serikali kuingilia kati mchakato wa kesi yoyote. Sydney Chazima ana maelezo zaidi katika ripoti ifuatayo. Jaji mkuu Martha Kome leo hii ameonekana kumlenga Rais William Ruto na waandani wake wa kisiasa walioizomea idara ya mahakama kwa kutoa maamuzi yaliyosimamisha sera na mipango ya serikali. We will never discuss the merit of a case. That will be determined by the judge based on the evidence, based on the law and based on their own understanding of whatever has been presented to the court and if that decision turns out to be erroneous and not to be acceptable to any party they should appeal Miki chache awali mkutano baina ya jaji mkuu na rais William Ruto ikuluni uliibua mjadala mkali huku upinzani ukidai kuwa huo ndio mwanzo wa mchakato wa kumaliza uhuru wa mahakama kaome anawazo tofauti even when we open ourselves up to dialogue one thing we will not open ourselves to is our decision of making independence wiki iliyopita rais ruto alipokea mapigo makubwa kutoka kwa idara ya mahakama licha ya kuandaa mkutano na kome na hata kuahidi kuwaongezea bajeti ya utendakazi moja wapo ya sera na mipangilio ya serikali iliyosimamisha mahakamani ni usafirishaji wa polisi hadi kule Haiti kwa misheni ya kudumisha usalama na mpango wa nyumba za bei nafuu. Swala hili lilimgavabisha rais na wandani wake. It is deceitful for you to sabotage the opportunity for other Kenyans 
also to get a job in other parts of our economy. Mahali pesa inatoka ni kwa ushuru. Na hii judiciary ndio inasimamisha ushuru yako. Mimi naona hapo kama tutakosana kidogo. Mimi naona kama ikifika bunge tutafunga funga kingine. Licha ya tishio la kupunguziwa wa bajeti katika idara yanayosimamia, Koome anashikilia kuwa hawatotingizika. Only an independent judiciary can safeguard the rule of law and ensure state stability. Kome alizungumza haya katika mkutano ulioleta pamoja wawekezaji na washikadao katika sekta ya sheria na uongozi kutoka mataifa mbalimbali mbali duniani mkutano ulioandaliwa katika hoteli moja jijini Nairobi Sydney Chazima NTV So Martha Kome is coming out to to show that yes they met they met but William Ruto's intention and mission was to alter the independence of the judiciary. This is something that I told you in several videos. William Ruto's mission to meet Martha Kome, the head of judiciary, was not in a way of fighting corruption. That is it. It was to ensure that judiciary is going to support his agendas and plans. And that is why today, even you can hear William Ruto is breathing fire against the judiciary. And they met just the other day. In fact, when you look at the statement of Martha Kome and the statement of William Ruto together with his allies in Rhodes, of course, after <laughs> you saw them, the other time they were in Meru, the coming out to insult the judiciary they met the other day in status. Then now they're coming out to threaten them that if they are not going to support their plans, they're going to reduce the budget allocation to judiciary. Is William Ruto sincere? He is not. William Ruto is not sincere towards fighting corruption in judiciary. William Ruto's plan is to ensure judiciary is going to support their plans and their agendas of Kenya Kwanzaa regime. Despite of that, we have seen William Ruto coming out not happy with the rulings of the courts. Now, by the way, Martha Kome is just playing with their minds. That's something that I have realized. That though these people want to capture the attention of Martha Kome, though Martha Kome also on her side, she has failed us, we as Kenyans. She could have not come out to meet these people. But on the other side, her statement that now the meeting was to not to alter or to discuss the merits and the merits of the cases in different courts, in state house, is showing a kind of this man, William Ruto, and his brigade. They were to convince these individuals in judiciary that, look, we have our plans, and our plans must succeed. Our plans must succeed. That is whatever we are now identifying with the meeting of state house, then immediately the next day, the courts came out stopping the deployment of police officers in Haiti, peace, uh, peacekeeping mission. Number two, you saw court coming out to stop the collection of house levy taxes, you know. And now, we are being told that now Musa Swetangula, the Speaker of National Assembly, together with the Parliament, they have now reappealed. Can I say reappealed or appealed? <laughs> the case of house levy so that they can be given the, the, the acceptance of collecting the house levy. Come on, if truly you have an agenda, which it is in accordance to the law and the constitution of the Republic of Kenya, I think William Ruto will just do his, his work. No one will come out to interfere with his work. But for him, 
His intention is to alter everything. Everything. He wants to alter with everything. He is now controlling executive where he is the head as remote. He is controlling the legislature. And that is why everything must be supported even if it is not in accordance to the law. The branch or the, 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 the other arm of the government judiciary is like giving them a sleepless night. Has not come out except their captivity. So I think the statement is very clear. William Ruto, his mission and intention is to capture the judiciary, which the judiciary is not easy to capture. The way he has captured the executive, where is the head, and legislature, where he's controlling like remote. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.